a very good morning to my dear students. Today, I'm going to start a new chapter, that is chapter 1, Evolution of Computers. So, I would request you all to kindly open your computer textbook, page number 7. Students, so far you have studied many things about computer, like what is a computer, what are its uses, and what are the different applications that we can use in computer. However, we never thought how it came into existence and who invented it. This machine is an outcome of labor of several minds. Not one particular person can be credited with the invention of computers, but several names stand out in the crowd, which means you cannot give credit to a single person. There are many people involved with the invention of this particular machine. Now, let's study about the history of computers. We all know that computer is a powerful device and it can be used to accomplish various tasks. In the past, lot of research was done in order to develop a powerful machine. And in this chapter, you will learn about those scientists who were responsible for creating this device that we are using in our day-to-day -day life. First of all, we'll study about the early counting device. Now, if you have studied about history and if you know that in the ancient times, people have invented tools for the calculations. And what type of tools they were used? They used fingers, toes, pebbles, stones, sticks, bones and so many. So these were the tools that they were using for doing the calculations. They also used to tie knots in a rope and carved marks on clay in order to keep the records. Abacus. You all know what is an abacus? Abacus was the first calculating device and it was invented around 3000 years ago. Where? In China. It can do simple calculations like addition and subtraction. The next machine that was invented was Pascaline Adding Machine. Who invented this machine? Blaise Pascal and in which year? 1642. This was the first mechanical calculator and it performed only two operations that was addition and subtraction. Next was Lebanese Step Reckoner. Gottfried Wilhelm Lebanese invented this digital mechanical calculator called Step Reckoner in the year 1672. This machine could perform all the four arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You can see the picture of Step Reckoner in your computer textbook on page number 8. You can also see the picture of Pascaline in the backers on the page number 8. Next was Difference Engine and Analytical Engine. Charles Babbage, we all know about this particular person. He was a mathematician. He developed this machine in the year 1822. He spent almost 10 years on this project. but this machine never became a reality. 
okay this means that means that was a total failure however in 1833 he developed exactly after 10 years he developed analytical engine and it was the first ever working model of a mechanical computer it was a fully controlled machine it was a fully programmed controlled machine you can see the picture of difference engine and analytical engine on the page number 9 this is why charles babbage is known as the father of computers because he developed this analytical engine which was a mechanical computer and was a fully programmed controlled machine lady ada lovelace and who was she she was the first person who introduced the concept of zeros and ones now if you remember in class 4 i have taught you about zeros and ones that computer understand only two things that is zero and one on and off and who invented the zero and one this zero and one was invented by none other than lady ada lovelace this zero and one instructions were actually used in analytical engine also okay she introduced the concept of programming and she was considered as the first computer programmer next is tabulating machine who invented it herman hollrich he was an army engineer and he developed this tabulating machine in the year 1890 this machine what this machine can do this machine can read and can also store the data by using punched cards at that time the punched cards were used you can see this the picture of tabulating machine on page number 9 Herman Hollrich formed a computing tabulating recording company and in 1924 his company that was computing tabulating recording company became a part of International Business Machine Corporation that we today known as IBM International Business Machine So this is how we come to the end of this uh part 1 of this chapter evolution of computers i would request you all to kindly read page number 7 8 and 9 thoroughly and if you have any query related to anything please feel free to ask me okay in my next class i will teach you generations of computers which is given on page number 10 11 and 12 so thank you children Stay blessed.